when you look at some of these state-based lockdowns that are ordered by governors that are acting outside of the state legislature, that is a violation of the Republican form of government. Joining us on the program right now is Mike DeGrandis. He is one of the lawyers suing the uh, uh, the Republican governor of Massachusetts, Charlie Baker. How you doing, sir? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? All right, so, you know, it, the, the assumption is that, you know, this is all about Republicans getting at these, you know, evil, tyrannical blue state governors. Well, there are some pretty bad Republicans as well. There's actually people talking about impeaching uh, Ohio, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine. That's right. Yeah, there people are scared. I mean, you know, there's a serious dangerous disease out there, which is why one of the things that we didn't do in our litigation against Governor Baker was make any sort of allegations that that he he's got bad motivations. It's it's not about motivations here. It's about enumerated powers in state constitutions in the federal constitution. It's about preserving civil liberties and protecting public health and safety. And Governor Baker just isn't doing that. Well, you know what? Look, there's a difference between public safety measures and guidelines, and and you know, good advice uh, to be to be you know uh, adhered to by by most. I guess that would be the right way to say it. But it's another thing for governors. This is the danger, and a lot of the media and the Democrats don't want to address this. That if you just let governors sit in in rooms by themselves and write down you know orders on pieces of paper that become laws, you tell me when it when and where it ends. Yeah, I think that's totally right, and that's an argument I made before the uh, Supreme Judicial Court is that Governor Baker offers no limiting principle to his power, his authority. And, and let's be clear about this, too. We're talking about the police power, and the police power is the power to regulate the health, safety, and morals, and morals of society. I mean, just think about that. Do we really want one person regulating the morals of society? That's not how the Constitution operates. The police power is an exclusive power to the legislature. And, and again, one of our core arguments against Governor Baker's uh, civil defense state of emergency is that he's violating the separation of powers, that he's taken away the legislature's core prerogative to make law and brought it unto himself. You know, one of the assertions uh, in, in all this lockdown stuff is that, that, you know, this stuff should make sense to everyone, right? This, this makes sense to everyone. Well, then you should have no problem uh, going to the state legislature, right? If this is obvious stuff that makes sense to everyone, you're not trying to, you know, make new precedent or enhance new powers or be a tyrant, that you're talking about, you know, things that need to be done for public health and safety, then you should have no problem going to your state legislature. That's right. I, I think it's 100 percent right. And I, I think a lot of people were willing to give uh, governors a little bit of leeway back in, in February and March when we knew so little about about the virus and, and what we needed to do to keep ourselves safe. But legislatures have all been in session. Nobody has stopped them from from taking up the mantle of their responsibility and protecting public health through law. And that's really, I think, where the uh, Governor Cuomo ran into a problem with the United States Supreme Court uh, just before midnight uh, Thanksgiving Eve is that, you know, the Supreme Court had said in a prior case in South Bay Pentecostal that they weren't willing to question the governor's decision, Governor Newsom's in California, decision regarding what he thought was necessary in an emergency for the public health. Well, the Supreme Court has done a 180 on that in the case against Governor Cuomo. And they've done that because now we know for certain that even, and I think it was Justice Gorsuch who said this in his concurrence, that even if the Constitution takes a hiatus during a pandemic, it doesn't go on sabbatical. Uh, you know, at some point, the courts have to step in and remind governors of the limitations of their authority. Well, you know, and that's that's another that's another scary thing is because that, then what constitutes a pandemic? You know, we lose thirty to forty thousand people every year to the seasonal flu. Is is that a pandemic? The AIDS virus is still among is still global. Is is that a pandemic? Who decides what a pandemic is? Do we sound the red alarm whenever the government feels like it? Yeah, and, and again, we get back to limiting principle problems. And in, in Massachusetts, it may be a little bit unique in the sense that uh, in using a Civil Defense Act, it really doesn't give the governor a whole lot of leeway to try to, to force a pandemic into the Civil Defense Act. He still found, or at least thinks he's found a way to do that effectively with a phrase other uh, 
other natural causes related to fires, floods, or earthquakes. And at the same time, he's got the Public Health Act right there in front of him, the Public Health Act that expressly defines what an epidemic is and that epidemics and pan pandemics are to be addressed through local boards of health. If we allow such fuzzy definitions that, that you know, disease itself any disease could be a pandemic, we're gonna run into very serious problems. And, and that's one of the points of our litigation is we wanna make sure that we are able to define the boundaries, the outer limits of executive authority. Yeah, and, and you know, it, when, when some of these things sound like they're be, being made up as they go, it's it, 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 that's also scary. Right, Mike DeGrandis is Senior Litigation Counsel for the New Civil Liberties Alliance. Thanks so much for joining us. I gotta hand it up to Sean Hannity. Thanks for joining us. Sirius XM Patriot.